Well, this is a sawtooth oak tree. It's not native here, but it's native to Korea. And uh, it jumped the gun and bloomed out its leaves. And now they're not looking too happy in this abnormally cold weather. It's about four foot tall. These are the pines I planted in 2012, March. And they've put on some good height. You probably don't see it on this camera, but every once in a while there's a snowflake flying here. It's April 15th. It's a little bit later than snow should be a fallen. This is my little one pine stand I planted in 2012. This was an area I cleared as an experiment to see how fast it would reforest itself. Uh, these taller pines were here, but the little ones have volunteered themselves. You open up an area, the trees go crazy. These are all new trees, the little ones. Mostly sassafras with the buds. Uh, I did plant oak in here, and there are some that survived, but mainly the rabbits came and chewed the trees off and kneeled my effort. Okay, I've had better success with these saw or cherry bark oak trees. Had better success with the rabbits not chewing them off. Of course, it nipped itself off right there somehow. But I've got other trees there where the flags are. So, this area, I left it to do its process. I didn't clear the brush out. I let it, let it lay here. It'll, it'll add fiber to the soil over time. I have a fire trail on the perimeter of my property so I don't have to worry about so much about fire getting in here to get to this brush there's still snowflakes falling in this if you can see them it's really strange weather I have a lot of high positive results with my ginseng experiment here this was first year seed planted from a uh, sioux ginseng wisconsin and i've got ginseng everywhere it's positive I had an internet friend online tell me about this company and wow it works this is the first year it works amazing i just planted this last fall this seed works. Wow. Amazing. 